Welcome to another edition of Encouraging Quarantine Devotion Time. Today we're going to read out of Daniel and um, read about Daniel in the lion's den and just offer some encouragement for those that are struggling and feeling trapped today. I can't even imagine what Daniel felt like being stuck in a pit with a lion um, it just, you know, after so many, all of his life, he devoted his whole entire life to God and was just so faithful to him. And then one crazy day, everything kind of crumbled before him and he remained so faithful. And it's such a beautiful story of, of how God really showed up for him and, and his showing his unconditional love for all of us. So... Pat's going to start us off in Daniel. We're going to read from Daniel chapter 6, as Liz said, verses 1 through 24, and we'll divide up the reading just a little bit. Darius the Mede decided to divide the kingdom into 120 provinces, and he appointed a high officer to rule over each province. The king also chose Daniel and two others as administrators to supervise the high officers and protect the king's interests. Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all other administrators and high officers. Because of Daniel's great ability, the king made him, pardon me, the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Then the other administrators and high officers began searching for some fault in the way Daniel was handling governmental affairs, but they couldn't find anything to criticize or condemn. He was faithful, always responsible, and completely trustworthy. So they concluded, our only chance of finding grounds for accusing Daniel will be in connection with the rules of his religion. So the administrators and high officers went to the king and said, Long live King Darius. We are all in agreement, we administrators, high officials, officers, advisors, and governors, that the king should make a law that will be strictly enforced. Give orders that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone, divine or human, except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the den of lions. And now, your majesty, issue and sign this law so it cannot be changed, an official law to the Medes and Persians that cannot be revoked. So King Darius signed the law. But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room with its windows open toward Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. Then the officials went together to Daniel's house and found him praying and asking for God's help. So they went straight to the king and reminded him about his law. Did you not sign a law that for the next 30 days any person who prays to anyone, divine or human, except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the den of lions? Yes, the king replied. That decision stands. It is an official law of the Medes and Persians that cannot be revoked. Then they told the king, that man, Daniel, one of the captives from Judah, is ignoring you and your law. He still prays to his God three times a day. Hearing this, the king was deeply troubled and he tried to think of a way to save Daniel. He spent the rest of the day looking for a way to get Daniel out of this predicament. In the evening, the men went together to the king and said, Your Majesty, you know that according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, no law that the king signs can be changed. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be arrested and thrown into the den of lions. The king said to him, May your God, whom you serve so faithfully, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. The king sealed the stone with his own royal seal and the seals of his nobles, so that no one could rescue Daniel. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night fasting. He refused his usual entertainment and couldn't sleep at all that night. 
Very early the next morning, the king got up and hurried out to the lion's den. When he got there, he called out in anguish. Daniel, servant of the living God, was your God whom you serve so faithfully able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, Long live the king. My God sent his angel to shut the lions' mouths so they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight, and I have not wronged you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be lifted from the den. Not a scratch was found on him, for he had trusted in his God. Then the king gave orders to arrest the men who had maliciously accused Daniel. He had them thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. The lions leaped on them and tore them apart before they even hit the floor of the den. Wow, a couple of, couple of thoughts on this one. So Daniel didn't, for anything or anyone, not even the king that he served, did he compromise his prayer life and prayer routine before God because no one was more important than God. He demonstrated that God was bigger than any obstacle, any problem, anything that he might face. And look what it got him. So what do you think would... And we can put this all into context pretty easily, I think. What would, if an unbeliever were to watch and observe you or us or any of us in our daily lives and our prayer routine and how we conduct ourselves every minute of every day, what would they learn from us? It's kind of a sobering thought. But it's something that we can that we can use as encouragement and knowing how big the God that we serve is. So what can we do today to demonstrate that belief that we have in God? So we hope you have a great day. We love you. We hope this is encouraging, gives us all something to shoot for as a goal and knowing that our God is the greatest. Yep. Have a great day. We love you guys. See you guys.